Today, Matt Cave Tools, let's test out the brand new DeWalt Atomic SDS hammer drill. We're gonna use the Hilti TE 4-22 to see where the DeWalt Atomic stands. I'm curious on how this DeWalt Atomic will perform, so let's just get to it. DeWalt Atomic weighs four pounds and 0.4 ounces. The Hilti weighs five pounds and 4.9 ounces. DeWalt for the win with four pounds and 0.4 ounces. Let's test out these four amp hour batteries with 21,700 cells, one pound and 3.1 ounces for the DeWalt, and one pound, 11.2 ounces for the Hilti. And do all for the wound with one pound and 3.1 ounces. Let's do a few warm up holes with a half inch by six inch SDS bits. We'll do these tests side by side just to get the tools warmed up. This is necessary for the task of these tools that have to do for the actual real test. But it does look like that the Hilti is winning so far. Let's do hole number two. The DeWalt Atomic does appear to be struggling a little bit with a half inch by six inch hole. The next test is gonna be against the 1.7 amp hour against the regular four amp hour battery. Let's see what these tools can do against each other. And 1.7 amp hour is actually keeping up. But it does appear that the DeWalt is having trouble with this hole. Let's take this out and let's see if the Hilti could finish the hole for the DeWalt. And the Hilti can. The DeWalt does have a dual LED light. The DeWalt Atomic only has two features, drill and hammer drill. It does not have a chisel mode. It does have forward and reverse. To adjust the handle, you just slide it out, put it in the proper keys that you want it to be at, and then you just tighten up the handle, then it's good to go. The DeWalt does have a measuring rod. The DeWalt also does have a belt clip. Next, let's do the Diablo 5 8 by 6 inch bits. Let's see how well these tools do against with this. 4 amp hour battery with 21 to 700 cells first. Easy click in with the chuck on the DeWalt. The DeWalt's model number is DCH172B, 20 volt tool, $219 tool only, 1100 RPM, 1 1.4 joules of energy, 5 8 inch chuck, and 3 year warranty. Twenty point eighty for the DeWalt. It was able to complete the task. Easy clicking on the Hilti's chuck as well. The Hilti does have a single LED light. Very easy to adjust Hilti's handle. You just loosen it until you want the position that you want. Then you tighten it back up. So it does have a position for the measuring rod. We are also going to test the Hilti's vacuum attachment. There are ups and downs of this. I'll show you guys what they are soon. The Hilti's vacuum attachment does have a measuring tool. It does have a stop, so you could only have the tool go so far. And that's how you put it back in. Hilti also only has a drill and hammer feature. It does not have a chiseling mode. Mounted for the Hilti is TE 4-22. The tool is $330 to $350, 1,050 RPM. Hilti does need to upload their tool specs of this tool to their website. I do not have any more info on this tool other than this. Let's see how Hilti does with this 5 8 inch by 6 inch hole. 14.13 seconds for the Hilti, and Hilti's for the win. DeWalt has 20.80 seconds. That sets out the limitations of this vacuum attachment. There are ups and downs. Of course, the vacuum attachment does pick up the debris from the hole as you drill the bit in. But unfortunately with this, it, you're limited to on how deep you could actually drill the hole with. To drill a six inch hole, you'll need a 10 inch bit. No good. All right, let's test out the second hole for the DeWalt Atomic. Let's see how well it does with the 5 8 inch hole. Eighteen point seventy two seconds for the DeWalt. Let's do Hilti's second hole with a 5 8 inch bit. Fourteen point seven seconds for the Hilti, and Hilti is for the win. Dewalt has eighteen point seventy two seconds. Next, let's do a half inch by ten inch bit. Let's see how well these tools can do this. I'll be amazed if the Dewalt Atomic could even accomplish this task.
43.55 seconds for the DeWalt Atomic with a 4 amp hour battery with 21700 cells. It's far enough, you guys. I don't need to hit the truck against the... It's far enough. Remaining battery life and the 4 amp hour battery is 2 bars. Alright, let's do the Hilti with the 10 inch by half inch bit. Hilti is doing much better at this task by plowing through that concrete. 24.65 seconds for the Hilti and Hilti's for the win. DeWalt has 43.55 seconds. But the unfortunate thing for the Hilti's power is it drains the battery very quickly. Two bars remaining on the 4 amp hour battery for the Hilti. And the Hilti's final temperature is 91 degrees. All right, let's see on how well the 1.7 amp hour power stack battery operates with the DeWalt Atomic. Yeah, this uh, that power stack battery seems to be doing better than the 4 amp hour battery with 21700 cells. It's struggling a little bit more, but it, it just keeps on going. Almost there. It can do it. Thirty-eight point seventeen seconds for the power stack battery, and the power stack battery did better than the four amp hour battery. And of course, but of course, Hilti and Neuron for the win with twenty-four point eighty-five seconds. There are two bars left on the three-bar system for the power stack battery. One hundred seventeen degrees for the Dewalt Atomic, but we also did a few more tests, so that's acceptable. All right, so as you can see, that these SDS hammerages are actually very impressive. I'm actually amazed that the Dewalt Atomic could do the longer SDS bit. Of course, the benefit with the Hilti, there's a vacuum attachment that goes on the TE4 and the TE6. And one thing I am seriously impressed with is the 1.7 power stack battery. And this, it's, a, it's full bars for doing all that task, barely full bars, but still, for the amount of, uh, for the type of task that this did, it's very impressive and I cannot wait for the higher amp hour batteries for the power stack battery. The upside for the vacuum attachment is that you don't have to worry about dust up to a certain amount of inches, but at the same time with this on, you are required a certain length bit so you could actually drill out what you need drilled out. This is the very first official battle of the brushless that I did, and this test is only gonna get better from here, and I am gonna work on this test. I want SDS hammer drills to be normal on this channel. So I wanna give a shout out to all my members of the channel. I thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. You guys are, you guys are awesome. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.